Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back, and if you are new here, then welcome. My name is Chewy, and I like to play strategy games. Warband is not necessarily as much of a strategy game, but today... Or not Warband. See? This is not Warband. This is Bannerlord. We're going to be playing Mountain Blade 2. Bannerlord, released last week, or this week, Monday, and uh, we're going to be playing. Uh, we're going to be playing a campaign here, and I've put about 20 hours in on my own, usually... Um, I've played a bit of multiplayer, but mostly campaign. It's actually mostly been on stream. So today we are going to be starting a new campaign specifically for YouTube because you guys deserve it. And uh, I have been thinking a bit about who we want to be. Um, Vampire seems to be pretty good. Uh, they have construction speed bonus and wall repair and siege engines, but the Vlandians have extra XP to troops from battle. So we will be the Vlandians, which are sort of the... Uh, foreign invaders of sorts if you will and um we are going to honestly not put a whole lot of effort in i do want to be tall i want to have pitch and i want to have this is my personal favorite we're going to be a little bit lighter because we are a, we are a lighter skinned brother and um like i said it's not necessarily a huge deal how we look here but um i do want my guy to be at least noticeable we want to have a nice uh, Roman nose, I think. So let's get a nose angle slightly down, and then bump. Sounds good to me. No, not a bump like that. No, I lied. Let's go with some nostril definition. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Nose asymmetry, really. You can crooked your nose. Wow. There's a lot more to this than I thought there was. There we go. And as far as mouth goes, make ourselves have a nice, large, prominent mouth. Where's our jawline? Thick lips, sounds good to me. More prominent jaw. And then, uh, that's a, oof, that's a manly looking face right there. So our hair will be pretty dark. Medium, medium brown, sounds good to me. Eh, something like this sounds good. And, um,. I do want a sort of sophisticated, but not uh, necessarily completely barbaric, you know? Something like, looks like uh, Jesus. Something like this seems good. You can also, they have a lot of options, man. Quite a lot of options. Go with the crazy beard if we want, but... Uh, I think just going with the goatee slash maybe a little goatee with a beard there. I think this is probably my favorite so far. Hides the jawline just a bit though. As far as markings go, I do want some scars, but I don't want anything that's necessarily super crazy. Something like this. Good. Something that adds a little bit of character that is not too crazy there. So I think this is a good one. Um, Did we name our character? No, we did not. So as far as we were born into, this is where you develop your character and make your uh, your stats, so to speak. So we are going to be going with something more of like a two-handed, probably, um, archery. Riding is a big one for us as well. So crossbow, no, no yeoman. Family of trade and charm is a good one to start off with. Scouting and crossbow, roguery. Smithing and two-handed is good. I think we're going to go with urban merchants. There's a child. There's little old me. We were noted for our leadership skills. So leadership is good because it helps us with uh, upgrading our troops early on. We were definitely known for our leadership, which also gives us 10 into each of these. So that's good. And growing up most of the time, we want to trade and charm engineering and leadership is also a good one riding and steward so i don't remember what steward does settlement prosper manage an estate or administer a town interesting crossbow tactics roguery and one-handed um let's go with more trade and charm that sounds good to me there we go young me youngster in caldaria war was never too far from you I um riding in bow, rode with the scouts, trained with the infantry. I rode with the scouts. 
I always thought this is funny. This is probably my fourth character I've started, and uh, for some reason this dude always looks really, really large. But we need to get our one-handed up. So 20 Renown, Valor, Vigor, one-handed and two-handed. Sounds good to me. And uh, like many families in Caldera, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged in the passage of an army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, and brother, and two younger siblings to a town you'd heard was safer, but you did not make it. Along the way, the inn in which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived. Because. Why, why, why? Leadership and charm. More leadership and charm. Sounds good. So what does charm do again? Maybe. Interesting. Let's go with leadership and charm. That sounds good. So Parabard is not our name, obviously. Oops, Chewy is my name, and that will be my name. So we're not going to play on very easy. Uh, we're going to play on easy. Um, re reason being, I have played on realistic on stream, and it is incredibly frustrating. You get one shot, and... Uh, we want to make it at least playable for me. <laughs> and so we are going to uh, skip this tutorial here, but this is this tutorial is basically your brother and you chasing down the um, people who had taken your family, your, your siblings, in an attempt to train you, and, th and that is the tutorial. Um, so we're going to actually just go right into it. And uh, so this is Caldaria. We do not, we want to leave this, so yes, this is fine. My family name, what is our family name? De Valendia. I think that's how it's pronounced, right? Valendia, yes. De Valendia, sounds good to me. And our coat of arms shall be something along these lines. Eagle, I like the eagle. Ooh, that looks cool, I like that. A little bit bigger, sounds good to me. Uh, Clan de Valandia. And uh, let's see here. So, this is Caldaria. And so you have the... Let me, let me get the, the wiki up here, because I have a tendency to not know their names, because I'm a dingus. So, we have a map here. This is the Kingdom of the Valandians, or the Valand Kingdom of Valandia. The Kingdom of Batania. The Grand Principality of Sturgia. The Kuzite Khanate, the Northern Empire, Western Empire, and the Southern Empire. So these empirical lands tend to be the uh, the mainstays. And also down here you have the Asurai Sultanate. Um, so over here is, I think, to, to the best of my understanding, was established as a vassal state of the Empire as sort of mercenaries. This is kind of the Normandy of France, so to speak. We were mercenaries that fought on behalf of the Empire to subdue the other natives into their, to do their bidding, to be fealty, so, so to speak. And so that is where we're at right now. We are, Vlandia is the predecessor kingdom to uh, Swadia, I think is what it's called in Warband. Forgive me, it's been a few years since I've played Warband, so admittedly I don't have the, uh, the entirety of it memorized. So anyways, we are going to make our way over to our homeland here. And let's take a look at what we start with on our character. No, 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 not character customization. We want to see what our inventory looks like. And so we start off with a bow, spiked mace, and some rudimentary armor. Sounds good. Well, we can certainly make something happen with this. So ideally, we're going to find some small raider stacks. Five. Five is great. And so we're going to find these guys. And this is initially the best way to do this. So... There, today is not your lucky day. Well, I beg to differ. So, if I were to just, you know, they would be able to beat me up uh, if they wanted to, but I am on the back of a horse with a bow, and so you guys will do nothing of the sort. Except for that guy will hit me with a stone in the head. There you go. And you just do something like this. It's a little cheesy, but... Uh, There we go. There you go. And you just do something like this. Great way to farm experience early on. Oh, you hit my horse. Son of a gun. Now I gained a level for that. You are dead. And these sorts of... Uh, this is sort of just how you do the early game. 
and uh, Bannerlord. So I may edit out some of this stuff, but I may not. You know, it really depends. Let me know what you guys think about, you know, the pacing of the campaign and everything. Because obviously I want to make sure that what I'm doing is entertaining for you guys. There you go. Victory. They somehow had one guy survive. Oh, that was me. <laughs> I had five kills. Very good. Brilliant soundtrack as well. Admittedly, it could probably be a little bit louder for you guys, so I'll turn that up just a bit. So we will take everything here. I'll actually equip the weapon, the stuff that they give me that's any better. So now we have a, a wrap on our head, which is going to give us four head armor. It's not nothing. And um, very good. And uh, so now you can see if we come over here that I have gained a level and I have two skill points to use. Um, and now, now is the point where you can kind of, oh, we also can put some points into leadership. So medium XP bonus per day to tier one, two, or three troops, or small XP bonus to everybody in the party. And I have a tendency to favor the low ranks because those are the ones where you want to get them out of. That way they don't die, and so you can keep them. So um, icebreaker for charm, introducing yourself to lords, have 10% chance to gain two relation with them, or... 15% reduced barter penalty. That sounds very strong. We'll certainly take that. And as far as our skill points go here, or what are these called? Focus points. We definitely want to focus. Um, and I'm not really too sure what exactly we want to focus on. I think leadership is a big one. That's going to help us defeating armies as well as bowmanship. Sounds good to me. And so we're just going to, you know run around and we're eventually going to make our way east that's a uh, or west i mean west whichever one to the left we're gonna make our way left <laughs> and on the way we'll fight some small little um looters if we can uh, i th i suppose 12 is something we can handle just need to be careful that we don't run out of ammo here and so we will attack them and you may think that this seems like suicide but remember we have a horse and they do not have a horse so that's the major thing that you're that you need to consider here and each of these guys so we have 27 26 arrows left and we'll just keep on shooting them oh yeah and then you do stuff like that and then you lose arrows so that's a mistake so we just need to get out in the open here have them circle behind me and you just lay waste to them Ideally, you get headshots, but it's easier said than done whenever you have all these looters chasing you. There you go. And you just bunch them up like this, and then shoot between them somehow. Slowly. There we go. Just like this. Easy peasy, right? Oh my gosh, did I miss two in a row? I don't believe that for a second. Sooner or later, they're going to start dropping. None of them have died yet. There's the first one down. Two down. So we're definitely going to need to do some melee here. But uh, so far, so good. Okay. There's that guy one. And now we pull out our mace, and then we're going to start laying the smackdown on these guys. Problem is, is that our mace is really short, and so uh, it makes it a little bit tougher to uh, get the melee hits on, right? Because you got to actually get close enough to them. But then I also don't want them to be whacking me with my, with their uh, sides and stuff. See, they just did 20 damage to me. So you got to be careful about that. Got to get close enough though. That's the problem, man. Hmm. It's tough. My horse is also very slow, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, that's okay. There's that. 96 damage delivered. Oops. Accidentally clicked that one. We're just going to keep on looping back around and one by one take them out. There's that one. 98. And now they're fleeing. So I'm actually going to end the battle. I can chase them down for experience, but what I am going to do, I'll take them prisoners, take all their loot, and then we're going to chase them down again because we got to refill on our arrows. And uh, 
just a really great way to grind out some experience and some um see now we got our 27 arrows down there again you can see right down here 27 arrows there we go now you just kill them all again oh he hit me hit my horse let's take them all out that one down very soon you will be done as well oopsies you are down headshot shoulder feels bad man he's dead come on you coward run face me there we go easy not bad right and just like that our second battle is over we are victorious. Not bad at all, right? We've also gained a couple of levels recently, and so this also gives us a second round of loot, which is nice. A uh, great way to make some easy cash early on. So let's head around here. I don't want to fight those looters quite yet. Uh, we don't want to recruit any troops quite yet, and the reason being is because we want to get to Vlandia first. And so we are going to... We'll hold on to these because we can smith them later. Uh, Pilgrim Hood, none of this is going to be worth anything. Except for the arm wraps, we'll, we'll take those. And the leather shoes are a little bit better than what we have, so we'll sell that. We'll get 142 denarii, or dinar, or whatever the term they use is. And then we will... Uh, let's chase down this 11 stack. That's fine. Like I said, I want to grind out some levels here. And um, like I said, let me know. If you guys don't want to see all this stuff, that's fine. Let me know and I will edit it out. It is an evening time battle, which is kind of annoying, but uh, we'll make it work. We'll get what we can out of it. Let them come on in. File in. Single file, everybody. I'm going to get your arrows in the face. 33 damage delivered. Like it was nothing. Headshot, baby. Dead looter. Another one. Headshot. Another headshot. Doing all right, guys. It's nice to just pull back just slightly at the very end there. And they can't get to me. Another dead looter. Oh, that's a miss. It's nice. and So something that confuses me a little bit is that you can shoot over your left shoulder but not your right. So keep that in mind. If you turn this way, it turns red because you can't reach that way. Oopsies. go there's that one down I don't care about the guys who are throwing rocks I kind of want them to be the last ones alive that way I can melee them a lot easier so nine more shots we might be able to make this work there's you dead so that guy's fleeing dead so these guys are throwing rocks at me come on now that guy has a hammer all right, I guess we're going back to the... Come on now. Dead, and then you are fleeing. And then my aim is terrible. All right, whatever. And retreat there are enemies nearby but we got some renown which is great and so for those of you who do not know you need a certain amount of renown there you have some oil you need a certain amount of renown in order to level up your clan and then once you've leveled up your clan sufficiently you can then um this is fine just slower because we're over our capacity you can come in here trade all this stuff out um Capacity is still exceeded. And then let's actually ransom the prisoners. Get a couple of hardwood if we can. Very good. That sounds wonderful. We will enter the smithy and we will refine a couple of hardwood because that's going to give us some charcoal that will allow us to smelt down these weapons. And there we go. And now let's make sure that we have enough room in our inventory. We do not. So we're going to need to get a mule. And so we'll get a mule. That's fine. We are 
well off, well enough off financially. And so let's actually take a look at my character as well, uh, right here. So we can upgrade our bow, which is going to give us accuracy, which is wonderful. We definitely need that. And then we can also upgrade our trade, which will give us 10% increased sell price for trade goods or 5% increased sell price for equipment. Well, let's go with equipment. Sounds better. Um, I have a tendency to want to throw another point into here. Trade is going to give us a lot of money in the long term. Now, something that you can always keep in mind is that you will be able to get companions to push your, um, you know, various skill sets on. You can just push it off onto a companion. Have one of your companions who is better at, uh, you know, engineering than you are or something like that. And that's an easy way to do that. Come on now. There's that one. Need some better arrows though. So that guy's dead. Dead. There's a hit on your head. It's a chest hit, apparently. You are dead. Come on now. 59 damage. This is so dumb. Look at this. And this thing is so short. This mace is really short. Can't even hit him. He's so far away. This guy's gonna hit me until... Oh, okay. That is so corny. I'm like recoiling and then I can't get away from it. Yeah, whatever. Get turd. Get shot in the face, boy. Take the prisoners. Fine. And now I'm low on health, which is annoying, but uh, that's okay. So we're just going to continue our trek over to the west. Let's head on over here to our or Ortizia for a moment. Let us get rid of you guys. Go to the arena. So we will want to join in as many of these uh, events as we possibly can. Uh, we have a couple of hardwood. We can sell a couple of those. Let's go to the smithy and smelt down some stuff. And we're just trying to get our smithing skill up because eventually we want to make ourselves some beautiful, beautiful um, weapons. And so for those of you who don't know, if you smelt stuff, you unlock new blades and altars and all this stuff. And this goes for every weapon that you can possibly get. And so there's tons and tons and tons. It's very in-depth. Um, and it's definitely one of those things that's going to be upgraded as time goes on. And uh, now I just need to wait because I am not battle ready. I only have 27% of my health right now. So we're going to wait on that. And so once we're closer to like 50 or 60%, then we'll head on, head on out. Um, we have no money going out right now. So there's no penalty to not, um, you know, moving and fighting and all this stuff right now. Except for the fact that we're losing prestige or not prestige but so what we're looking for is some renown i think 50 will give us clan tier one and then at clan tier two we can rent ourselves out as mercenaries to the nation of landia the kingdom of landia and uh, at that point that's when the money is going to really start coming in because as a mercenary company you can really do some crazy stuff um but until then like i said we're still going to be fighting some looters trying to get ourselves some personal levels um but then, as we get to the point where we don't need to anymore, we won't need to fight them nearly as much, which is going to be really good for us. And so, let them pile on in. Headshot, baby. There's that guy's dead. Oh, he will be soon. Okay, never mind. Dead. Headshot. Okay, that was a miss. Another miss. That's another neck shot, apparently. There you go. That was another neck shot. These guys have bad aim. Which is good, because I don't want to wait anymore at a, another city. There you go, he's dead. Okay, 
Since this guy bought out a weapon, got him shot. Got him. Not bad at all, huh? That's the one. Beer sells for pretty good, so that'll fetch us a nice price at the market. Actually, just head on over to uh, Garantor over here and uh, not recruit, but we will um, we'll sell some stuff here. So we'll sell the clothing and we will sell you the beer. We'll hold on to this stuff. Actually, just kidding. We will sell this because this will allow us to get some better recruits here. We'll hold on to the hardwood though. That's definitely going to be necessary for us. And so we will continue the trek. And you can see as we're getting closer and closer, we're almost there. And then is when we're going to be able to start recruiting some men. So that will be the fun part. That's when things are going to get really interesting. Um, so there's a hideout there. But I don't particularly care about that. So there's some more looters over here. Let's take a look at what my character is looking like. So we have an attribute point. Let's put it into Vigor. Going to make it easier to learn the skills. Um, and then ideally we're going to be able to get it into Control as well. Oops. Um... Maybe I should put it into control instead. It's going to make it easier to get these leveled up. So let us track down these looters over here. Very good. We'll fight you guys, no problem. As you can see, we are doing quite well for ourselves, fighting up against much superior units because horse archery is overpowered, <laughs> to be fair. Now, fighting around here, you need to be careful because you don't want to hit into a tree, right? I got hit my horse, you jerk. Get out of here. And you just rinse and repeat. That guy's dead. Call me a pig. I resent that. If I were a pig, I'm a cute one. Say psych right now. Say psych right now. Just keep on hitting them over and over again. Easy peasy, right? Hey, not my horsey. You jerks. All right, not so bad. Dead, 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 dead. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, he's not dead. How, bro? How many arrows are you gonna take? You're one bloody son of a gun. All right, nice shot. Oopsies. No, we hit a tree. Feels bad, it happens. Happens to the best of us. You are dead, and you will not be spared, good sir. Yeah. Come on now. We're out of ammo. Time to get maced. Or not, maybe. There you go. Not bad. Just want to make sure we finish them off so there's not a little one stack running around. That would be annoying. We'll take everything. We will head on over to uh, Sargot. Go to the arena. Still no... Um... No... Um... Thing to fight in. So let's see here. So uh, Karaslav Bloodaxe. Hello, good sir. All those bastards talking about uh, t walking around drunk and bothering folks, but they work for uh, Gertland the Lamb, and you can't say a thing if you value your head. My apologies, sir. Can I help you with something? No, thank you. Goodbye. I'm talking to the wrong person. There you go. I, I don't know you. Peace to you, stranger. Very good. Death. You've heard about the death of the last emperor. Well, most people have believed is a pack of lies. I was in the Viger Guard at the time of Arsenios Arenkos. Arenkos. We took our discipline seriously, and we were proud of it, and the riots happened. What I saw in Lycaron, now, even now, it makes me feel ashamed. It wasn't easy for the men. They felt the city turn against them, blame them for killing the emperor, whereas we were sure that the innocence of his blood... We were sure that we were innocent of his blood, and that there was some sort of trick, but even so, there was no excuse. 
We could have marched out in a battle array, but no one would have stood against us, and we couldn't restore order. At, last, at least we could have gone home with honor, but instead we turned our anger against the city. My comrades looted, set fire, even murdered those who were supposed to protect. It was a disgrace. I have heard about the riots in uh, Lacaran. This ugly thing all around. I thought about going home, but I lost what dinars I had saved during the riots. If there was a warband looking for good men, I would like to earn it back. Right now I'm in between jobs, so if you got any work for me, let me know. Well, I could use your company. About 10.49? Here you go, my friend. Karaslav Bloodaxe. Welcome. We got our first companion in the first episode. Not too bad at all. This first one will be a bit longer. Hope you guys don't mind. I know I'm excited to play, so I want to give you guys some content. So some more hit horse hit points sounds beautiful. And let's take a look at what... Uh, what our companion here, Karaslav, looks like. Very good. The one-handed and bow. He's good at riding as well. His tactics are okay. Um, and his pole arm is really good as well. So he's honestly just really good at all the fighting stuff. And then he's good at tactics. And so let us go over. So my clan role is um, quartermaster, huh? So I have no role, um, but you will be our um, scout. He has honor. He's honest. Very good. Okay. And we will recruit some troops as well. We're going to need to pick up some recruits here. So uh, now we've got a pack of eight. And in the next episode, we're going to be getting into war, probably with these looters over here. So I hope you guys are as excited for Bannerlord as I am. Um, this has been something I've been looking forward to for literally years. This game, the original game came out about eight years ago, uh, Warban. Bannerlord is a really great follow-up to it. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please show your support. Leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already and you want to see more Bannerlord content in the future. And if you want to check out the Discord or support me financially via my Patreon page, that's all super appreciated. The links are in the description below the video. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my new supporter, John Thompson, as well as my other two top supporters, Palmer and Bloodbound. Also, thank you to Jonathan Crane, Jaren Clampett, Lambda Driver, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Zwayhander, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, Christopher Pegolo, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the series we have linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.